Okay, let's have a look at uh, sensors. So a very common application for these potential divider circuits or potentiometer circuits is sensors. And there's three that we're going to look at. The first is a light dependent resistor, also called an LDR for short. And basically the resistance is going to decrease when light shines on the resistor. So if we shine some light onto the resistor here, R will get smaller. And we can see that in the graph here. Here we're getting more and more light as we go this way. And as we do so, the resistance keeps dropping and dropping. So we might have a burglar alarm and say we've got a beam shining on the resistor here and that would keep the resistance very low and if the burglar should break that beam then the resistance becomes very high and this could trigger a burglar alarm. Here's a typical IB question. What I'd like you to do is pause the video Try the question and then come back for the answer. So if we want to increase the reading on the voltmeter, so we're going to increase this voltage, that means we need to increase this resistance here. And if we want to increase the resistance, we want to decrease the light intensity. And so the correct answer should be D. And just take note, the two arrows coming in uh, imply that it's a light dependent resistor here. So be aware of that, that symbol. And because of that symbol, you can eliminate the first two choices. Second question, once again, I'd like you to pause the video, try the question, and come back for the answer. This one's very similar. Uh, we can actually figure out, because we've got 5 volts here, and we've got 10 kilo ohms here, and we know this is 3 volts. Therefore, this has to be 2 volts across here. And it also means that this must be a 15 kilo ohm resistor. So if we were to swap the positions of the LDR and the fixed resistor, that's not going to work. So we really want to, we see, as soon as we see this signal here, we should be in, thinking about increasing or decreasing the amount of the light. So if we're going to increase the voltage here, we're going to have to increase that resistance. And that means we're going to have to decrease, once again, the amount of light shining on the LDR. There are temperature sensors. Yeah, one's called a negative temperature coefficient, an NTC resistor, also called a thermistor. And the way it works, if you're at a high temperature, you get a small resistance. So if we're up here at a high temperature, resistance is tiny tiny. The third type of sensor that I'd like to talk about is called the strain gauge. It's based on the principle that if a wire gets narrower and longer its resistance is going to increase and you probably remember our formula for the resistance of a length of wire it has an L in the top for the length of the wire so if you increase the length of course the resistance goes up but also if the wire gets narrower so that that area gets smaller, that will also increase the resistance. So what we do is we get a flexible material and we coat a conductor on that material in this shape so that you end up with a very long piece of wire like so. Then you take that flexible material and let's say you've got a beam, you might glue that flexible material to both the top and the bottom of the beam. And of course, on the bottom of the beam, if the, if the beam bends down in this direction here, on the bottom of the beam, that elongated wire is going to get shorter and fatter. And the resistance here, of course, is going to go down. And on the top, where those, that conductor is going to be stretched out, then the resistance is going to go upwards. And so that gives us a way to measure how much stress say a beam or some other structural device is under. So these strain gauges are, are a very important type of sensor. And that's all for today folks. Thank you very much.